answer doesn't make you a winner. Here on the Intergalactic Time Capsule, the longer you wait to answer a question, the more points you'll get. We'll be testing the nerves of our contestants and seeing if they've got the skills to avoid our gunge tank. Each of our questions is 15 seconds long and we've got an infinite number of clues stored in the total intelligence mechanism. He's a top of the range computer and he's even got a built-in microwave. Built-in microwave? It was designed for analysing samples of moon dust, not for cooking your jacket potatoes. Oh Tim, stop moaning. I'm just saying. That hot cheese nearly shorted my circuit boards. Yeah, but I've got to keep my strength up, haven't I? Those who fail to clock up points, well, their fate is to end up in the goo portal. So with four rounds and some top prizes to be won, it's all at stake. Let's see who's playing today. Today's team are from Down Patrick, and our first contestant is Rachel. Hello, Rachel. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Who, who are you worried about on the team today? Who, who do you think is going to be your biggest competition? I'd say Vicky. Vicky? Why is that? Because she's really smart and she's good at, like, common knowledge and stuff like oh, that. Oh, OK. You're not worried about the fellas? A bit. <laughs> A little bit, but Vicky mainly. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's meet one of the boys. Nice to meet you, Rachel. All the best. Best Thank of luck. Thank you. Our second contestant is Jamie. Hello, Jamie. Hello. You're into model making, is that right? Or do you yeah. collect them or do you make them? You tell me. Well, basically, I collect them and then I make them because they're in, like, wee card forms. Um, you have to punch them out and then build them together. Oh, OK. So what type of model is it? Is it, like, planes or...? No Star Wars, basically. What you're saying is you build spaceships. More or less, yeah. You know what? But there are some things that I wouldn't mind you looking at here yeah. on the Intergalactic Time Capsule. Really? We've got a few teething problems, because Tim, he's, he says that he's good at odd jobs, but really, between you and me, a little bit rubbish. Jamie, I could stand and talk to you all day. You're a fascinating chap, but we've got to crack on. Nice to meet you. Very best of luck. All right? Bye. See you soon, Jamie. Thomas is our third contestant. Let's meet him. Hello, Thomas. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Good. Excited about being here? Yeah. You want to be an actor when you're older? Next James Bond. The next James Bond. Actually, my favourite is uh, Roger Moore. I like him too, but I'd rather Sean Connery. Okay. Doctor No. Give him a hand. Thomas is great. The next James Bond. Vicky is our fourth contestant. Hello, Vicky. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. So, oh, oh, your cat's on your T-shirt. That's pretty cool. <laughs> um, you, you keep animals as well, don't you? Yep. What have you got? I've got horses, dogs and a rabbit. Horses, dogs and a rabbit? That sounds like a farm. How many horses? Uh, three. Three horses? How many dogs? Six. Six, six dogs? Yeah. I can't even, I haven't got that many fingers. And one rabbit? Yeah. All right, well, let's get cracking. Jamie looks like he's got ants in his pants, so we better move on. <laughs> it's time for round number one. This is Wait For It. Now, every question has a series of clues that's 15 seconds long. The question starts at the same time the clock begins, counting from zero to 15 seconds. You can buzz in at any time, but the longer you wait, the more points you'll get. For example, if you buzz in at seven seconds, you get the question right, you bag yourself seven points. If you get it wrong, we give everyone else seven points. Now, there are ten questions in this round. You each have three lives, so it's important to use them wisely. All right, guys, remember, you have to listen carefully to the clues, and when you think you know the answer, Wait for it. OK, round one, guys. Question one. Let's have the first set of clues, Tim, please. I'm an animal with four legs, thick fur and antlers. I can be found living in very cold climates north of the Arctic Circle. I'm one of a team that pulls a sleigh for... Rachel. Reindeer. Reindeer. It's the right answer. Well played. Good start. Nine points. Well done. OK, let's have the second question, please, Tim. I'm a flying creature. There is a superhero who models himself on me. I use something called echolocation to find my way around. Thomas. Bat. Bat. It's the right answer. Well played, Thomas. Yeah, please, please with that. Question three. Let's have it, Tim. I'm a type of material. I'm made from silica or sand, and I'm hard, brittle, and transparent. When I'm heated to a very high temperature, I turn to a liquid. Vicky. Glass. Glass. It's the right answer. Well done. Eight points. 
Okay, question four. I'm a person from history. I'm the most famous member of a group of men who plotted to blow up the Houses of Parliament. I was caught on the 5th of November, 1605. Rachel. Guy Fawkes. Guy Fawkes is the right answer. Well done. <laughs> Just beat Jamie to it. And not to worry, plenty of questions left. This is question number five. I'm a type of house. I'm generally built in the shape of a dome and I'm usually entered using a very low passageway. The cartoon character Pingu the Penguin... Jimmy. An igloo. Igloo? It's the right answer. Well done. <laughs> well done, Jamie. Get yourself nine points. Well played. Let's go for question number six. I'm a particular location and you'll find me in Africa. I'm the biggest in the world of my kind. You associate camels and wandering tribesmen with me. I'm very hot, and you'd find it easy to get lost. Jimmy. Is it the Sahara Desert? Is that a guess? So, yeah. The... It's the right answer. It's a good guess, Jimmy. Well done. He's got himself 11 points. Excellent play. All right. Question seven, please, Tim. I'm a living creature. I can be found all over the world, in rivers and up trees. I'm not usually dangerous, but I might make you poorly if you ate me. I could be very poisonous. I... Jamie. Is it a puffer fish? It's the wrong answer, oh. Jamie. The answer we were looking for was frog. Now, Jamie, stop the clock at 10 seconds. That means everybody else gets 10 points. Jamie, that was your final life, so you're frozen out of the rest of the round. So no more buzzing in on this one. Listen closely. This is question number eight. I'm a type of person who lives in Middle Earth. I'm small and I have furry feet. I don't usually venture far from home, but a few of us have... Thomas. Is there a mole? It's the wrong answer, Thomas. The answer we were looking for was Hobbit from Lord of the Rings. Now, that means everyone else gets eight points. OK. Question nine. Let's have it, Tim, please. I'm a fashion accessory starting with the letter B. I can be made of a variety of materials, but I'm probably... Vicky. Bracelet. It's close, Vicky, but it's the wrong answer. We were looking for belt. That was the answer we needed. That's seven points to everybody else. All right, let's hear question ten. I'm a form of puzzle. I'm made up of a grid of black and white squares, and you need to work out the answers to across and down clues in order to... Vicky. A crossword. Crossword. It's the right answer. Well done. He's got nine points, and that brings us to the end of round number one. Who waited the longest? Who's done enough to survive? Let's find out now. Guys, if you could leave your play pods and please enter the drop zone. OK. The first person safe and definitely through to round number two is... Rachel. OK. The second person, safe, and joining Rachel in round number two is... Jamie. Jamie safe. Well done. Thomas and Vicky. One of you is about to leave us and go for a dunk in the gunk. Unfortunately, the person we have to say goodbye to is... Thomas! Thomas, sorry to see you go, mate. Bye! Oh, a splasher! Are we swimming? There he goes, the doggy paddle. Superb. So, Vicky, Thomas has gone. Yeah. <laughs> what was it like being sort of stood next to him out there on the it drop zone? I was really, really like, nervous. My legs, it, whenever I was standing at the edge, my legs were shaking because I thought it would have been me that had to get dropped into it. Oh. OK, well, let's play. It's called Watch and Wait. It's different from round number one, but we do have the same scoring system. I'm going to give you a category, and you have to decide how many seconds worth of clue you think you'll need on that subject. 
Now, if you stop the clock at eight seconds, you get the question right, you bag yourself eight points. If you get it wrong, we'll restart the clues and give your opponents a chance to swipe those points. It's important to wait as long as possible if you want to get maximum points. Well, let's wait for it. All right, our first category is entertainment. Remember, we play the clock first. So, Tim, start the clock, please. Keep an eye on one another, as well as the clock. Remember, the more seconds worth of clue... Oh, Jamie, stuck me at nine seconds there. So what's going to happen now is you'll hear nine seconds of clue, then I'll ask you for your answer, OK? All right, Tim, let's hear the clues, please. I'm an ugly character created for a series of films. I'm quite unpleasant as I smell and burp a lot. I live in a far, far away land, and believe it or not, I'm married to a princess. Is it, um, Shrek? It's the right answer. <laughs> well played. You got yourself nine points. Good start. Our second category is general knowledge. OK? Let's have the clock, Tim. Everyone watching and waiting. Who's going to come in first? <coughs> Ooh, Vicky. Stop the clock at 10 seconds. Let's hear 10 seconds of clues. I'm the name given to a fun place to go with friends and family. I consist of a number of attractions, including white knuckle rides, where you can take on loops, spins and vertical drops at incredible speed. It's not a lot. Do you know the answer, Vicky? Is it a fun fair? It's the wrong answer, Vicky. I'm sorry. All right, we're going to open that question up to everyone else. Rachel, Jamie, we're going to play the rest of the clues. If you want to answer, you have to buzz in before the 15 seconds is up. All right, Tim, let's restart the clues, please. There'll be some... Is it a theme park? Theme park. You're right. Well done, Jamie. Put yourself 11 points. See, you were close, Vicky, but the answer we needed was, was theme park. Well done, Jamie. OK, our third category is television. Tim, start the clock. Keep watching one another. <coughs> Rachel buzzed in at nine seconds. Let's have those clues, Tim. I'm the setting for a popular adventure game show on CBBC. Two teams of five take part in firewalking and lots of water sports. They arrive here by helicopter and try to... Do you know the answer, Rachel? Scorpion Island. Scorpion Island. It's right. Well played. <laughs> Rachel gets nine points. Question four's category is the natural world. Let's start the clock, please, Tim. <coughs> Ooh, Vicky just in first there. Just beat you to it, Jamie. She stopped the clock at nine seconds. Let's have those clues, Tim. I'm a girl's name in a plant that's mostly seen at Christmas. My green spiky leaves and red berries are often used in Christmas decorations like door wreaths. I rhyme with two other... Do you know the answer? Is it Holly? Holly. Is that a guess? Yeah. OK. It's a good guess. It's the right answer. Well done, Vicky. Nine points. Question five's category is fairy tales. Start the clock, Tim, please. Keep an eye on each other, guys. Ooh! Rachel, just in first at eight seconds. Let's have the clues, Tim. I'm a fairy tale by the Brothers Grimm about a brother and a sister. The children get lost in a forest but find a house made of gingerbread and sweets. Rachel, it's a bit of a toughie. Do you know the answer? Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel. It's right. Well played. <laughs> eight points. The category for question six is history. Tim? Please start the clock. Last chance to pick a point. Oh, Vicky, just in first at seven seconds. Tim, let's have seven seconds of clues. I'm a form of writing, and my name means sacred carvings. Instead of using letters, I'm written using symbols and pictures. Vicky, do you know the answer? Is it Egyptian? We need to know what it's called, Vicky. Hieroglyphics? Hieroglyphics. It's a big word. It's the right word. Well done, Vicky. 
got yourself seven points. All right, that is the end of round number two. Who waited the longest? Who bagged the most points? It's time to find out. Players, leave your pods and enter the drop zone. The first person safe and definitely through to round number three is... Jamie! He's happy. Okay. Just down to the two girls now. Vicky and Rachel. Unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to one of you. And I can reveal that the person leaving us and about to take a fall into the goo portal is... Vicky! You've been great, Vicky, but it's time to say goodbye. See you soon! Rachel, what was it like on the end there? I was very nervous because I thought I was going to fall in. All right, well, this is round number three. It is our head-to-head -head round. We call it Wait and See. I'm going to give you a question category and you have to decide when you think they're going to buzz in with the answer. Now, you've got three time slot options. One to five seconds, six to ten seconds, and 11 to 15 seconds. Now, of course, your opponent won't be able to see your prediction, and points don't match the clock this time, it's the best of five. So, if your opponent buzzes in with the correct answer within your time slot, then you get the point. If they buzz in with the right answer outside of your predicted time slot, then they get the point. You know the rules? You've seen the possible time slots. It's now time to wait and see if you can make the right prediction. Now, Rachel, you waited the longest from the first two rounds, so you get to decide whether you want to Predict first or answer a question first? Answer a question. OK, super. That means, Jamie, you're predicting. The first category is food. Now, Jamie, before you press the button, let's just have a quick chat with Rachel about food. Rachel, what's the most exotic food that you've ever tried? I've tried mussels and it tastes horrible. Is it slimy? It's horrible. It's all stringy. Is it kind of goo portal slimy? It's probably worse than that. Oh, really? Oh, crikey. So, Jamie, you've heard what she's got to say. Are you ready to make your prediction? There it is. Tim, let's have the clues, please. I'm a type of food from Italy. I'm often served with a bolognese sauce and grated Parmesan cheese. I can be difficult to eat, as I'm very stringy. In The Lady and the Tramp, two dogs eat me and end up kissing. I'm made of pasta, and you cook me by boiling me in milk. <laughs> Just in at 14 seconds. What's the answer, Rachel? Um, mm, spaghetti. Spaghetti is correct. Let's see the prediction. Ooh, Jamie's yes. prediction was that you would come in between 6 and 10. You came in with the right answer at 14 seconds, which means you get the point, Rachel. Well played. Yes. OK. The second category is royalty. Now, you're going to predict in a minute, Rachel, but first, let's have a little chat with Jamie. Royalty, the royal family. Do you know a lot about that, Jamie? Well, it's not my everyday subject, but I knew, do know quite a bit. Because, um, you know, it's quite interesting the way it works. Rachel, you've heard what Jamie's got to say. It's time for you to make your prediction. OK. There's a prediction for everyone but Jamie. Jamie, here come your clues on royalty. Buzz in whenever you want. I'm the eldest son of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip. I have two sons called William and Harry. My wife is called Camilla. I'm known as the Prince of Wales, but I will one day be king as I'm next in line to the throne. Oh, the clock beat you, Jamie. Um, the, the time ran out at 15 seconds. The answer we were looking for was Prince Charles. I know. I was thinking about that one. Not to worry. Unfortunately, on that question, nobody gets a point. 
All right, we roll into question number three. The category is space. Now, you're going to be answering this question, Rachel. Jamie, you're going to be predicting. Give me a second with Rachel. Do you know much about space, Rachel? I know, actually, quite a bit, because when my dad is quite often talking about space, because he, when he was younger, he used to be an a He wanted to be an astronaut. Oh, OK. All right, well, uh, I bet your dad's jealous that you're out here in space on the intergalactic time capsule, mm -hmm. isn't he? Eh? Oh, yes, Dad. Travelling. Jamie, you've heard what she's got to say about space. It's time for you to make your prediction whenever you're ready. Rachel, here come your clues on space. Let's have them, Tim. I'm something in the solar system. I share my name with a newspaper and sound like a member of a family. Rachel. The sun. Sun. It's the right answer. Let's see the prediction. Oh, Jamie said you'd come in between six and ten seconds. You came in at six, which means Jamie gets a point. Well done. <laughs> He's pleased with that. Question number four. The category is people. And, Rachel, it's your turn to predict. So give me a second with Jamie. People, Jamie. Are you sort of up to date with what's going on in, you know, celebrity circles and... Stuff like that. I'm not interested in celebrities a lot. I'm just basically, you know, everyday life. Rachel, are you ready to make your prediction? Yeah. Press the button whenever you like. Brilliant. OK. Here come your clues, Jamie, on people. I'm originally from Australia. I'm a hugely successful pop singer. I played a character called Charlene on the TV show Neighbours. Since then, I've had several top ten hits. In two... <laughs> In it. ten seconds, Jamie, what's the answer? Bradley. Bradley. Mm. Oh, it's the wrong answer. Mm. Let's look at the prediction. Rachel, mm. you predicted that Jamie would come in between 11 and 15 seconds. He was in at 10. You were incorrect as well, so nobody gets a point. The answer we were looking for was Kylie Minogue. Guys, this is question number five. OK, Jamie. It's your turn to predict. It's the natural world, and we're just going to have a little chat with Rachel before you make your prediction. All right, mate. Do you know a lot about kind of uh, animals and, and...? Quite a bit, but I'm not going to give too much away. All right, Jamie, you've heard what she's got to say. She knows a little bit about animals, she says, but she could be bluffing. It's time for you to make your prediction. All right, there's Jamie's prediction. Remember, this point for the round. Let's have them, Tim. I'm used to trap small creatures. I'm very delicate. I'm made of a very fine type of silk. You can often find a spider at the centre of me. After all, they make me. I'm also a word represented by the third W in the acronym... Rachel, in at 14 seconds, what's the answer? Web. Web is correct. Let's see the prediction. Oh, Jamie said you'd come in between 6 and 10. You came in at 14 seconds. That means you get the point, Rachel. Well done. Well done. Rachel, you'll be joining me in our final game. Wait a minute. And unfortunately, that means we have to say goodbye to you, Jamie. You've been absolutely fantastic. A real superstar contestant. Jamie, if you could leave your play pod and please enter the drop zone. All right, Jamie, we've enjoyed having you, but we have to say goodbye. All the best, mate. Bye. Bye. Superstar! <laughs> Come down, Rachel! It's time to play our final game. Wait a minute! Come here, Rachel. Wow, it's popular with our audience today. How do you feel? Really excited, but I hope I get to all the questions right in the time. Well, this is your final challenge, all right? You're going to hear a series of questions. Each of them is 10 seconds long. You've got 60 seconds to give me six correct answers and make your way across the goo portal. I'm going to show you how that's done. You just go from one to the other, like this. Oh. Try not to fall in. See? It's easy. OK. Now, if you make it over in 40 seconds or more, you're going to be taking home one of today's star prizes. Now, the clock's going to begin when I hear the answer to your first question. OK? 
Do you understand all of that, Rachel? Yep. All right. Best of luck. Thank you. We're all rooting for you. Hope you do really, really well. Tim, let's begin. I'm a performer. You might see me at the circus performing somersaults, tumbles and feats of agility. I'm good at balance and gymnastics. Acrobatic. Acrobats, that's I'm right. I'm a national forward. symbol of Ireland. My name means Little Clover. I'm green and have three leaves. Chan I'm mainly... That's right, move forward. I'm the largest city in Scotland. The River Clyde flows through me, and I'm the home of two of Scotland's Glasgow. most successful... That's right, move forward. I'm orange and round. I'm in great demand at the end of October because people carve faces in me and put lights inside Pumpkin. for Halloween. Pumpkin's correct, move forward. I'm someone who wears robes. If you met me, you'd have to call me My Lord, Your Honour, or Your Worship. Pass. You would meet... Next question. I'm important parts of a machine. There should be two on a bicycle, one on each wheel, Pedals. and four on a car. It's the wrong answer. Next I have a question. name which is an old-fashioned girl's name, but I'm not a girl. I'm an elephant. I'm mentioned in a famous song, which tells how I pack my Pass. trunk and sleep. Next question. I'm a sea whose waves lap the shores of England, Scotland, Wales, and the island which gives me its name. Irish Sea. I'm That's right, move forward. I'm a famous politician. I'm very well known around Pass. the world. Next question. <laughs> There's the klaxon, we know what that means, audience. Three, two, one! Rachel, oh my goodness! Rachel, give us a wave. She's not going home empty-handed, she gets to take away one of our intergalactic space bouncers. Give it up for Rachel! Another top show, join us next time on Wait For It. I thought the only way forward was absolutely brilliant. It's really, really scary when of the job here because you think you're just going to like sink away to the bottom, but it's actually not that deep. Whee!